The vaccine developed by Oxford University in collaboration with the Swedish-British pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca has shown to be 70% effective in preventing the transmission of COVID-19. The result compares with the Pfizer and BioNTech and Moderna inoculations, which are said to provide at least 90% protection. But the Oxford jab is far cheaper and easier to store and transport. Well, let's get the latest from our correspondent in London, Tyg Enright. Tyg, great to talk to you this morning. Lots of people will be delighted on hearing this news. Just talk us through the very latest and how it is that this vaccine is supposed to work. Hi, Rosie. Good morning to you. Well, let's talk about how the vaccine works. First of all, it is a version of the virus which causes the common cold, which has been altered so that it doesn't actually cause infection in the patients to whom it's administered. But it does mimic the COVID-19 virus in many ways, its effect on the body and therefore produces an immune response. And as you say, it is the third vaccine to have shown relatively or very high effectiveness uh, in the past couple of weeks, although there are some, I suppose, mixed feelings here and that the numbers don't look as dramatic as the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines, which we've been told have are 95 percent effective, 70 percent effective. Doesn't sound quite as good, but it's worth putting these numbers into context. The 90 percent figures, 95 percent figures are spectacularly good and generally anything above a 50 percent effectiveness rate is generally considered as a good result. Uh, and there is data within the data, if you were. The Oxford team saying that the, there is data suggesting that actually this, uh, this uh, vaccination's effectiveness could be boosted to 90% if it's administered in a different way and if it's actually administered with a lower dose up front because there are two doses but all patients have been given two very high doses, but actually the, the data suggests if you give a low dose up front, well, actually that boosts its effectiveness. And that's good news because that means that fewer doses could be needed overall when it comes to actually rolling out this vaccine to the general public. Rosie? Tyg, thank you very much. Our correspondent there in London. And we've got more on this across the hour here on Good Morning Europe.